Here, let's talk about the Pillow Gang over in St. Louis. This isn't meant to be an in-depth talk about the St. Louis mob. That would take a long, long time. They're an old, old mob. Anyway, the St. Louis Mafia was under a Prohibition era boss named Carmelo Frazina. And Frazina is where they got the name, the Pillow Gang, because he carried a pillow around with him after a certain point, uh, and he needed it to sit on. The, here's the situation. In January of 1928, Frazina and two of his guys were ambushed after they were coming back from one of their extortion rounds. Extortion and bootlegging were what they did. The Anyway, they were ambushed as they left. Uh, two of the guys with them were killed, and Frazina was shot through the lower hips. Uh, and since that time, whenever he carried a pillow with him to sit down on, and as a result, the local police called them the pillow gang. Frazina was, as I said, a bootlegger and extortionist. He left his house uh, at 9 o'clock at night on May 7th, 1931. He told his very young wife that he's going away for a few days to, quote, fix those liquor cases against me. There's some speculation he had actually gone out to meet a girl. Anyway, 12 hours later, an Illinois state policeman found him laid out in his car. Uh, someone who had been sitting in the back seat shot him twice through the head. The killer, assuming Frisno was dead, dragged him or tossed him onto the back floor of the car and then drove to Edwardsville, Illinois, and left it there on the side of the road. And uh, cops came along and found, of course, the dead guy. Senator Estes Kefauver, who was a, not a man known for his humor, said, eventually Frazina, an extortionist and bootlegger, was dispatched with two bullets in the head and no longer needed his pillow. <laughs>